Good day everyone! Today we will solve simple word problems related to indirect proportion. One problem goes like this. It takes 24 days for six painters to paint a building. How long will it take for 18 painters to do the same job? Let's analyze the facts given in the problem. This problem shows the relationship between the number of painters to the number of days required to finish the job. It states that six painters can paint the whole building in 24 days. The question is, how long will it take for 18 painters to do the same job? Certainly, when we increase the number of painters, the less number of days are required to finish the job. This type of relationship is known as indirect proportion. It means when one quantity is increasing, the other decreases in the same proportion. This problem can be solved by applying the rule of three, in which case there are three given quantities represented by A, B, and C, with the unknown value as X. In an indirectly proportional relationship, the value of x can be determined by multiplying the value of a and b, and then divide by the value of c. Let's solve this problem following this formula, where x would be the number of days. We simply substitute the value for a, which is 6, multiplied by the value of b, which is 24. The product of A and B will then be divided by the value of C, which is 18. To find the number of days, we can simplify the given number. We can still reduce 6 and 18 to 1 and 3. What we have left are much smaller numbers, which are 24 over 3, or 24 divided by 3 which gives a quotient of 8. So to answer the question as to how many days will it take for 18 painters to do the same job, the answer is 8 days. Let's try another problem. A truck covers a particular distance in 3 hours with a speed of 60 miles per hour. If the speed is increased by 30 miles per hour, Find the time taken by the truck to cover the same distance. Looking at the facts given in the problem, this shows the relationship between the speed of the truck to the number of hours to cover the same distance. Apparently, with a speed of 60 miles per hour, the truck can cover a certain distance in 3 hours. What happens when the speed is increased by 30 miles per hour? It means from 60, it will be 90 miles per hour. Certainly, when we increase the speed, less time is needed to cover the same distance. This type of relationship is known as indirect proportion. It means when one quantity is increasing, the other decreases in the same proportion. Let's rename the three given quantities as A, B, and C. And of course, with the unknown value as X. In an indirectly proportional relationship, the value of X can be determined by multiplying the value of A and B, and then divide by the value of C. Just use this formula where X would be the number of hours. Then substitute the value for A, which is 60, multiplied by the value of B, which is 3. The product of A and B will then be divided by the value of C, which is 90. To find the number of hours, we can simplify the given numbers. We can still reduce 60 and 90 down to 2 and 3. Now we have much smaller numbers to multiply, which are 2 and 3, that gives us a product of 6 over 3. To find the number of hours, just divide 6 by 3, which gives us a quotient of 2. There we have our answer. 
the time required to cover the same distance with a speed of 90 miles per hour is just 2 hours. If you find videos like this useful, a like would be appreciated. PDF copies of the lessons on this channel are available on our Facebook page. Should you need a soft copy of this lesson, you can always send me a message. This would be all for now. Stay safe, everyone, and have fun learning.